Okay, time for new filament. You're going to be getting a lot of them these days. It's called E-Sun. It's a PTG filament. And this is uh, translucent green. And we're using these kind of filaments to make these uh, kyber crystals that I'm selling on my Etsy store. So these are uh, crystals that will go in the lightsabers that you can make at Sabi's workshop on Batu. Galaxy at Disneyland and Disney World. So this this color green was kind of uh, the, one, the one I could find when I started making these. It's a little bit too neon green for me. Uh, it's, it's actually pretty close to what's in the park. This is a little bit uh, brighter, but I thought more of a darker green, like a forest green, would look better. So this is the first East Sun filament I've used before. So it talks about don't uh, let the uh, uh, the uh, end of the uh, filament loose and, and start springing back. That's that's why it always uh, that's how you can get it to tangle. So all right, it talks about uh, printing slow, sixty millimeters per second or less. I usually print at three thousand uh, at uh, uh, five at fifty, and it's more stringy. They, they like 245, which is unfortunate because I like 237, so we're going to see if that works. Okay, and 85 degree bed temperature. I, I, I don't, I used 65, and that seems to get a good adhesion, so. So we're going to try a temperature tower, of course, to make sure it works, but. All right, so now, let's look at the reel. There's a whole, whole, uh, thing all about their uh, different types of filament they make and the temperatures, bed temperatures and so forth. So PTG, this must be like an echo version or something. And let's see, oh there's PTG, yeah. So 230 to 250, so that's good. The range you want to use is in the um, range that we do, which is 237. I can't use different temperatures, but you know all the other ones I'm putting at 237. So hopefully, hopefully this will work the same way too. So let's take it out of the box. It's got a nice vacuum seal on it. And it's got a silica pa uh, package in there. So let's open this up. I bought this a while ago, probably a couple of months ago, so it's nice that the it's nice the vacuum held. So here's the here's the forest green uh, compared to this neon green. I would call this neon green. So I think this will look better. We we aren't, we aren't trying to match what's in the uh, parks because the the crystals in the park don't look like this. I, when I designed these, I said, well, it's a crystal, so I'm going to make, make it like a cut crystal, like a diamond. So. So my crystals have facets, whereas the ones in the park are kind of rough looking. They they just came out of the ground, which is, which is what's shown in the, uh, in the movies and stuff. But uh, again, I'm not trying to copy what's exactly in the movie. I'm making my own version of this. All right, and it looks like the end is taped, which I cost you kind of find kind of annoying, but I guess that's all right. All right, let's let's do a temperature tower, and we'll. Uh, uh, take it from there. All right, let's weigh this to see if we got all of our filament that we bought. And 12.85. That's uh, 12.84. That's good. So we don't have an empty reel for this uh, Esun filament yet, but um, that means we we at least got a, a one kilogram. So Esun, if it if it prints well, we're going to start using this probably. Depending on the pricing, I have been using this Yoyi filament, but um, had some more trouble with availability for this lately. This prints really nicely. I have other videos up about how this prints PTGs. This is one I've been using at 237 and um, 
65 degree bed temperature. So. All right, so we'll try this out and we'll see how it does. See how it turned out. The string on the last poke, last pointy thing, which we expected, so. Alright, so you can see 240 or 239 has got a lot of sagging. So 237 looks like it'll work fine. There's some uh, teeny bit of sag here. Uh, th this one looks like it's slightly under extruded, so. I'm gonna go with 237 like all of our other PETGs. So that's a good, that's good news. So this has got good, uh, except for the base here that always comes off, but all these layers have good layer adhesion. So since I've had some, much success with those settings. I'm just going to go ahead and go directly to my product. So I'll, I'll show the final result. I'll skip the uh, bed and layer adhesion test because the, the bed adhesion was fine at that 65 degrees with this uh, removable print bed. All right, on to the real product. All right, there's the final version. So the, I'm, I'm, call, I'm calling it emerald green, not forest green which is appropriate. You see the facets are picked up by the light there. So, so this is the original, the neon green, and this is the forest green, or the emerald green. So the facets show up a lot better on this one. This one, if you're standing here, you can see them, but this is, this is a darker thing. The highlights of the facets show up better, so I actually like this. I like this one better, and the performance is the same, so I'll have a link to these uh, carbon crystals in the show notes. And I think this is a good substitute for this neon. I just checked again, the Yogi PTG is uh, not available on Amazon right now, at least the colors I'm getting. So I have to look to other sources like eSun is one and probably have some others I'll use in the future. Thumbs up for eSun uh, semi-transparent emerald green. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.